Hi, it's Dan from Bocane Designs. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to add a delegate user to your GoDaddy account. The reason you might want to add a delegate user to your GoDaddy account is if you need to share access to a developer. Uh, oftentimes, if someone needs to get into your cPanel or maybe they need to update a domain setting or set up your email, um, they're going to need to get in there. And it's always smart to give them delegate access to your GoDaddy account instead of um, giving them your GoDaddy login. This way, your password and username stay secure. If you need to lock them out, it's very easy. They can't change anything. You don't grant them access to give uh, to change. So. Those are the reasons why people use this tool. Um, you might be thinking it's easier just to copy paste your username and password and send it off, but doing this is always gonna be the smarter way. So when you first log into your GoDaddy account, go to your account settings and then come down to delegate access. And on this page, you can see a list of where you have access to. So I have quite a few from just clients of mine, but also you can invite people over here. So we're going to go ahead and click invite to access and then we're going to go ahead and put in uh, who are we inviting? So we're just going to put in um, my other email and my name and then what kind of access do I need? Um, so this is going to vary based on who you're hiring, what they're doing, but typically domains, uh, products and domains is the, bet, the most I would consider giving access to unless you really trust the person because if you give them this one, they can buy things using credit card or payment methods that you stored. They can do a lot more damage, basically. Uh, that's not to say they will, but if you don't really know who you're working with, you probably shouldn't give them any access. But if you're just hiring someone for like a quick job, um, products and domains would let them get into your web hosting. Uh, so they could do anything with FTP, databases, migrating a WordPress website, little things like that. Domain access, if, if they just need to update a domain setting, maybe you just move your website's files somewhere else and someone needs to point the dns settings to the new server give them domain access only uh, but in this case i'm going to give myself product and domain access we're going to go ahead and click invite and now you can see i have sent it and it is pending i received an email at my account if i click accept it would show up here and um, that's all there is to it